everyone, let's get ready with me. <laughs> Hello, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am gonna tuck my hair back and we are just going to get into this. I've got a lot of makeup that's just looking at me that goes, hi, are you ever gonna use me? Okay. I have the Revolution Pro Cream Skin Perfector CC Tint in light, and I think I've used this once. Uh, so, this I believe is kind of one of those magic color changing products. It is. Woo! Look at that. Well, we can tell that light is a little too light. But maybe it's going to kind of figure itself out. I'm going to trust the process. kind of like it, actually. It really, actually, uh, as I'm sitting here, it's just sort of taking everything away. That is, uh... <laughs> okay. I'm also going to use the Revolution Scooey, Super Dewy. I said Scooey for Dewy Skin Tint Shade Light. I am going to use this, but, so I picked up the medium shade of the Scooey. <laughs> uh, go in with my BK Beauty 101 brush and uh, the medium. Now everything looks like, oh, is this too orange? <laughs> After I've put on something so, so pale. It looks kind of orange, kind of peach. Maybe not so much orange. But we can warm up the skin, right? All right. When I've used these products before, I think I mixed the medium and the light. Yeah, I think that's the, the trick. Nice. It's so interesting. It feels like, it feels really damp, but I also feel like I kind of don't need to blend it. It just sort of, yeah. I'm just blotting it with a velour puff. <laughs> ah. Let's put on some Catrice Shadow Primer. I'm gonna, before I, I'm not gonna do concealer until after my eyeshadow. And I might do all <laughs> liquid shadows today. I have a number of very affordable liquid shadow options and creams. And I've used this before, the Loc, uh, the Loc Cosmetics. Uh, this is such an interesting shade. Then I have two Pixie crayons. I noticed uh, um, one, this one is more matte and I had never seen that before. And then Hard Candy has their Eye Def, which is a metallic cream eyeshadow. I thought that looked so cool. I think I'm gonna start with the Pixie Crayon. This is the one, I've had this for a long time. This is Endless Shade Stick in One and Done. Oh, this is so, so good. It is, it says One and Done and it really means it. And I just, I really appreciate it because it does such a nice job of making a not too dark shade, not too light shade. You can use it in your crease, you can use it all over your lid. Whoopsie. I'm using my Ruffer 32. See how cool that is? I just think that's so great. <laughs> it's so great. I'm gonna put a little bit along my lower lash because then it's just there and you don't have to even think about it. 
Okay, so we've got that down. I think what I'm going to do is take for, oh, I'm actually gonna swatch this one for you. So this is the shade Matte Cognac. I just think this is such a beautiful shade if you want something in a crayon that is just a medium. Wow, look at that. I don't know if you can really see that over what I did already, but I am very much enjoying this. I'm gonna now take the lock. This is shade Caramel. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the back, or I should say the heel of my hand. See how that's such a great, that almost looks like a lip, a lip color. I'm going to put this right here. It might be a little too defined. I could have probably done this first and then the crayon. So here are the hard candy ones and these are liquid. Oh, that is pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. I don't know what it's called. And then this one. Oh, right here. Oh, it's so pretty. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna take this one, the, the lighter one, and I am gonna put that in the inner corner. So I think I'm going to put on a product I've not really talked about, but I like it a lot. And that is the Sephora Instabrow Waxy. Uh, this is a pencil. I bought this, golly, did I buy this June? I'm trying to remember, because I ordered one for my mom. Um, this is like the blonde or the taupe shade. It's a very waxy pencil and it's also got that kind of beveled longer edge versus a micro pencil. But I'm gonna, um, I'm going to do this and then I picked up the e.l.f. brow, the the this, the brow lift that won the Allure Award, it was just sitting there at Target. And I'm like, you know what? I wanna see what the fuss is about. So I'm filling in the color first. I don't know, maybe I'm doing too much wax. I don't know, we'll see. Cause this is kind of waxy. And then maybe the brow freeze is waxy as well. I don't know. I even picked up the applicator. I'm so glad people love this more than the Anastasia because this one's cheaper and we like e.l.f. It is clear. <laughs> oh. And what if I'm doing this wrong? So I am going to go in with my, uh, my benefit. I've got a few spots. I've got the Milani liquid contours in the shades 01 Honey and 02 Stardust. This is the contour, this is the illuminator. They've got the sponge tip. They are clearly doing the dupe, right? 
So um, I kind of was on the fence between 01 and 02 for contour shade. And I think I'm glad I went with 01. I'm going to blend this in for you. I think I like this. I did a long time ago buy the NYX Born to Glow for the same purpose. And I find this to work great. Um, this is shade Mocha. But it might be a little too red. Yeah, the Milani is a little more subtle and it doesn't pull red. You like that? Mm, carving out that chin, you know? <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, let's do this. Um, the sponge tip isn't in nuisance. It seems to stay pretty pretty good. Get a little shadow there. Just blend it in. It's pretty good. Let's do some concealer. I have the I am going to use my summer favorite, CoverGirl. CoverGirl Simply Ageless. We love this. And I'm getting that ceramic. <laughs> I'm getting the ceramic applicator in there pretty good. And then I'm going to go and, oh, actually, I'm going to do my BK Beauty. And I'll do my um, my facelift. How about that? I feel like my mission in life is finding affordable powder. <laughs> and I did find another, I picked up the LA Colors Mineral Powder. This is in Shade Fair and it's talc free. I think it was $3.98. Um, I kind of love it. So I'm going to take the corner of this velour puff and I'm gonna just go in here Sorry if I keep coming at you with new powder, but this stuff is just kind of fun. And I'm actually gonna go up here because I'm creasing. That's yeah, fine. But this powder, it's not, it's not very luminous. It doesn't have a lot of luminosity or anything like that. Um, it's just pretty straightforward. And because it is, uh, doing this talc free thing. It's like, yay. So if you find it, still, still love, of course, this instant finish from LA Girl. LA Color is an LA Girl, man. So the thing about this is it's hard to find in the store. It is on the LA Girl website for $10. It's on the CVS website for seven. And it is not available like on Ulta.com, but I've, have I seen it in Ulta? So it's just very strange. Also on the LA Girl website, it says new. So I'm really hoping it's new. Okay. 
Yoma Beauty has a cream bronzer from um, uh, Walmart and it's called Shady. It's this cream to powder and at first I was a little bit scared. I thought this was a very dark shade and it's kind of perfect. Matte and it is very much cream to powder. Like it goes to powder. <laughs> so let's take a look how this goes. I probably could have done a really good job of putting this on before the powder, but that's okay. I just thought it was really cool. Um, and I thought, you know what? This might be kind of similar to something high end out there. I don't know. But you know what? Even if it isn't, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna use my AF94 uh, stick blush. I'm gonna put some on the heel of my thumb, and this is shade Fruit First Prize. How does this work over the Yoma Beauty? I don't know if you can really see it. Kind of, it's subtle, right? Ooh, I think when you really work it in, it's pretty. This NYX Smooth Whip in the shade Kitty Belly, I think is the name of it, which is so cute, because I'm like, oh, I love kitty bellies. Um, look, look at, look at, look at, look at. It's a little pumpkin-y, it's a little orangey, spicy, like, I love it. I love it, it's like a rusty red. So I think what I'm gonna do is put on a lot of mascara, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do these lips, these lips, <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna finish my look. Okay, I might want more blush, we'll see. Um, I am going to take a, I have got, did I say I have two? Yeah, I have an LA Girl lip pencil in Bare. This. Now for kitty belly. Mmm, smells like cookies. <laughs> huh. It is almost, it's very moussey. I think the shade is a little more orange than I anticipated on me. I like it. I don't know if I love it. It's nice though. I'll leave a comment in the description box about how it wore, if I liked it, if it, if it traveled on me or just kind of stayed put. Uh, hang on. It's, not not transfer proof, that's for sure. And it is, it's called Smooth Whip. So it is, it's very whipped, it's very moussey. Um, I just had an idea. I'm gonna put some on the heel of my hand. Isn't that a cute blush shade? I just felt like I needed a little more color. <laughs> well then, okay. Yeah, all right, well here I am. Folks, I am loving these different eye products. The eyeshadow crayon, the liquid, the metallic. I love it, I really love it. Okay, I will list everything. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your subscription. Truly, it means a lot. <laughs> Seriously, so thanks a lot. Take care, happy pumpkin spice and apple orchards and corn mazes and all that good stuff if you're doing it. <laughs> I've never done a corn maze and I don't think I would, um, I don't think I would make it to the other side. Yeah, so, take care. I'll see you next time, bye.